Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. The house in Atlanta County was reduced to rubble. Six people were inside. Tonight, two people are still missing. Two are dead and two more are injured. The explosion happened about 10.30 this morning along the Northwest Boulevard in Buna. CBS Philadelphia's Kerry Corrado went to the neighborhood. The police chief says this was a significant blast. They say they are still searching for two people and they are treating this incident as a criminal investigation. The house was fully engulfed. An explosion leveling a Buna home Thursday night. Heavy equipment was brought in to search through the debris scattered all over the yard on Northwest Boulevard. Cell phone video captured the intense flames and smoke, and you can hear crackling noises in the background. Neighbors say they heard a loud boom. All indications are that this thing went up very fast, and um, it was a lot to try to, to fight. Police say a one year old girl is in critical condition, and a 16 year old girl is in stable condition at St. Christopher's Hospital. Also at the home was a two year old boy, three year old girl, a 52 year old man, and a 73 year old man. Of them, police say two were killed, and two are still missing. It's painful. It's really painful. Patty Rodeo, who lives nearby, drove over the moment she knew something wasn't right and saw smoke. She says she was one of the first people there and everyone was running all over. When I got there, it was you could feel the heat coming off the fire. Several um, homes in the immediate area did sustain damage due to the explosion. Um, those individuals were evacuated, along with many other people along that block. As police try to figure out what caused the explosion, the Buna community says they will be there for the family. This is a wonderful community, and we will be there to help. Franklin Township Police, Atlanta County Prosecutor's Office, ATF, State Police, and FBI are all working together on this. Investigators have not released any names at this time. Kerry Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.